Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture this lecture we'll just uh, have to build the level for our game so level will be built like the structure from this polygon that will be here as in beams and column so you will use this beam and column and obviously peak so what we'll have is this bird will be this uh, in the left hand position and this polygon that will be beam and column and obviously this pig will be in this right hand position so let's create that levels now so in order to create that level or just a build what you're gonna do is go to this angry word and create new script that is python file and just give it a name as level here yeah, if we a level and just click ok and you have now level.py so first thing obviously we're gonna import some of the module that would be from character so that is our own module that is character.py will import pig that will be our main character here in this um, basically in this level and similarly we'll just import polygon because we need to deal with the beam and column so we'll say from polygon it is polygon so that must be p capital here from polygon just import me a uh, polygon now what we're gonna do next is so this polygon is basically this class here that is this polygon class so go to enable now and just create a class with yell capital because the class always has the first character in uppercase so after that what you're gonna have is just create this level class and first thing you're gonna have is init function and after init let me just initialize some of the peaks and some of the columns and some of the beams and space for them so just initialize here so first will be self dot peaks equal to peaks here and similarly self dot column columns will be again columns and similarly self dot beams will be beams and now space just to give the hero self dot space and this space will be obviously the space that we passed and similarly just give now a number that is to just check the number or counter for our labels similarly we will say self dot number of birds so this will be the basically the number of birds that the player just can project towards the level space and i will say there will be four so default number of birds will be four but you can just reduce this number of bird as the game progresses in order to make the game more challenging so i'll say self dot bull space now bully space should be false so we have initialized all our essential variables in this constructor now let's define first as build zero that is our first level so in this build zero what you're gonna have is let me just say it is level zero so after this let me give you an indent here and we'll start first is we'll just create the instances of this from the um, basically from character that is from this class pig so we'll say pig one equal just create me a pig that will be at the position 980 and y position will be 100 and just give the space here as a self dot space so we have now pig one so you can just make your own structure here the more instances you create the difficulty of the game increases so let me create another instances and that will be pig 2 uh, let me say pig and that would be in this position that will be 985 and 182 will be the position x and y and just give the space as self dot space so now just append this into the pig list that is the pigs and just append this pig one and similarly also you can append in this pigs list 
that is append pig to now you have just appended in this pig now time to create our beam and frame beam and basically column not frame so let's create the beam and column so first that let me say p this is the any random point so that will be 950 comma 80 so let me say this the point and similar self dot column that is the columns and just append and you should just append here that is a polygon so we'll create the polygon or we'll just create the column from this polygon class and that will contain all our physics in order to create that column so let's call this polygon class with the some of the parameters that will be first is the point the point in which the column should be created so the first point in this polygon would be your p that is your point in which you want to create the beam and not this is not beam it is column basically so after that point what you're gonna have is first is 20 and that would be your width and similarly give now 85 as in height and just just give now self dot space that is basically your space so we have now created first column in our game that is in the level zero we have created the first column so what did you need to just observe here is we want want to make a simple layout in this build zero so you can always make a more complex pattern depending upon this column and just giving the peak and just giving a movement to peak so that the player can't hit it properly and you can make the more challenging game based on this column in a beam so what we can do here is basically we can just implement like this format that would be something like this it will be column this two will be column and this will be the beam and inside this will have something that is here as in peak that is the first peak and similarly will implement another that will be beam here and there will be another that will be two frame again that is not frame that is column and this will be two column and again inside here there will be another peak and this is our basically layout and just angry bird or the bird will be here and it will project from here to this layout which is basically build zero so how can we make this build so first we need a peak that is peak one pin peak two that is this peak one and peak two and secondary we need this beam and a column to in order to make this layout so this beam and a column will be made out of this wood so let's give this position basically to this column first column so what we need is we need here four column that is this column this and this and this to total will be four and similarly we need two beam here that is this beam and this one so let's create that so first we have now column so let's get the another position that is next point and let me say 10 10 and 80 here and after that what you're gonna have is obviously you will have this column so let me just copy it and paste it again in this position so that means we'll have now another column that will be at this point 10 10 and to 80 that means you have now this at this position so we need created at this position now we have created at this position that is this position and now what you have is here that is the 20 will be your length and 85 will be your height here and and self dot space is obviously space so next thing what you're gonna do is just create now beam that will just reside in the top of these columns so firstly what you're gonna give is you'll have to give your point and that would be 980 and i'll say 150 that's the point in which this beam should reside and i'll say self dot beams now and just append it first and just call the polygon class now so inside this polygon you should pass the parameter first will be the position obviously this is p position and the length of the beam will be 85 and the height will be 20 and similarly give this self dot space here so this is our beam 
so the next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just create another beam or another column in this top of this structure so for that we also need now two column and a uh, one beam so firstly what you're gonna do is just put another point and that point would be well, I'll say 950 and 200 that the X position uh, Y position will increase but the X will be same as 950 because we're dealing with this position and now what you're gonna do inside this is just copy this for the column and similarly you can just paste it here now let's create another column and this that column will be this part so let's say that should be this point and let me say it should be 10 10 so you can always play around with this number so it to test uh, how it is look like and what the shape will be if you change this number so it should be now again the column so let me just paste it as in column and that would be the uh, creating this column from this polygon function at this point and 20 will be the length height will be 85 because it is a column and we'll just give a space now we have left this basically the top beam so top beam will have the point that is 980 comma 240 and let me just copy this beam part and just paste it here again so after that what we're gonna have is we'll now check for the number of bird that is we'll save in the case of this uh, basically in the first level we'll have assigned the number of bird to be four and if the self dot bully space is basically here should be bully space and it is true then let me say that this uh, self number or uh, self number of birds should be eight that means it should be double here and now what we're gonna have is we'll have to define the load level function that would be something here inside this main but here so let's load level just call this load level so this load level will be basically containing all the function that will have to just load this build from here that means you don't have to call all the levels from this main function instead you can just call this load level now and it will just load according to the number you passed in this load level so let me say if you i say here try first it should be included in this try cache block so just give the build name first so it will be build name and just give here build and just concatenate it with basically the string and it will be self dot number here and number will be dynamically passed here so it will be number and after that what you're gonna have is we'll just have this get attribute and get ar will take the self and the build name here and we'll just call this now automatically so this lower level will be curled so we'll have now accept in order to cast the exception and exception will be attribute error here and attribute error means will say cell that number should be zero so default will be zero so if you have no label pass that means if you don't want to go any level the default level will be here zero so after that what you're gonna have is build name will be get atr and that will be same as this self and a build name here so that will be self and build name will be here that will be build and plus that will concatenate with zero so that will be build underscore zero in the case of attribute error and we'll just call it automatically again and similarly we have now created our level so you can just add as much as number of build here so you can just create level one level two similarly working with this peaks and column as well as with this beam so this much for now see you in the next